August project use it up. So yeah, um, I used up, I think, more mists than I was expecting to. Um, and I'm almost done with a different one that I didn't fully use up, but it is um, over halfway down, so that's nice. And I can probably use it up a different time very easily. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So we'll start off with the two I did not completely finish up. The first one is my Beach Nights Fine Fragrance Mist. As you can see, the liquid is right there. I was probably about the, right there before, so I used up a tiny bit. I actually didn't like this in the past, and it's actually gotten better, and that like sea salt breeze note has gone away, so I finally do enjoy it. I only smell like the sweet creamy marshmallow now, which smells amazing. Yeah, I always loved the other notes, but that sea salt breeze really threw me off, so thank goodness it's finally gone after, well, I don't know from 2022 early 2022 early 2022 so after two years or two and a half years of waiting for this to be like good it finally is good and I do enjoy it now so I'm not going to use it up I was planning on using it up but since I do enjoy it now I'm just not going to um anyways the notes are toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze s'mores accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla it smells amazing like I said I just get that marshmallow vanilla note so yeah i really am enjoying this right now and not sad to still have that at all um the other one that i did not finish up is my happy vibes fine fragrance mist if i look into the light it's about right there something around there um so i'd say i have basically a quarter in between a quarter and a third left also i'm sorry if the quality is bad i just there's not good lettering now. It's actually, it's like 7.30 at night. So lighting, outside lighting is gone. And yeah, it is what it is. But I hope it is mostly okay. But I do enjoy this a lot. The notes are pink, citrus, crisp pear, fresh honeysuckle, shrew vetiver, and dewy orchid. It just is a nice citrusy, fresh, uplifting type of scent that I really do enjoy. So I was planning on using this one up completely as well. But I am not set at all to have a little bit left to use like next spring or next summer because it's just a very nice refreshing citrusy scent. Okay now on to my little bag of like the actual empties from this project up so we're gonna get started with that. I'm just gonna reach back here because it's easier than putting it up on my desk and make my phone shake. So the first product I used up not in order but from the bag is my pink beach fragrance mist. This has notes of sunkiss, coconut, and juicy papaya. Packaging of this is very cute. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. It had a nice, like, tropical fruity vibe, but very, like, wearable, I'd say. And not like, it's not like that, I can't talk. It's not like that tropical fruity smell that you can only wear on vacation, otherwise it's just too much. Um, I wore this to work quite a bit, and it's just a nice toned down version of it. It's still strong, but it's a toned down tropical, note and it has a hint of citrus i just really enjoyed it i actually would repurchase this if i ever saw it again um if it was like 75 percent off or something at like a pink semi-annual sale not that i ever really shop those but or well i do shop them once in a while but you don't really find great things at those semi-annual sales their actual sales during the year tend to be better than those but um i would pick it up if they came up with it again and i felt like i wanted it so yeah i did enjoy this quite a bit <laughs> next mist I used up is my strawberry soda fine fragrance mist this has notes of fresh strawberries bubbly seltzer and crushed ice it smells so good it's just a nice syrupy sweet strawberry scent it's like if you actually took like a strawberry coffee syrup um and just pumped it into some sparkling water exactly what it smells like it's just very syrupy smelling like yes it smells artificial but it does smell good uh yeah I was planning on using this up and I did I was planning. I think I was planning. I feel like, no, I think I was only going to use this up halfway, but I used it up full, so that's good. I don't have my computer with my, like, um, spreadsheet pulled up right now, so I'm really not sure about these, but I'm pretty sure I was supposed to use Story Soda fully, and I did, so that's nice, and I do have a backup of this in the newer packaging. I also finished up my Gingham Fresh. I was planning on using this completely, and I did. Uh, the notes for this are Juicy Pear, Sparkling Clementine, and Fresh Daisies. It's just a really nice green, but also wearable type of 
pear green pear type of scent it's really nice um if you don't love green scents you might still like this because it's not like grassy or anything it's just more of a green like fresh pear okay i also used up golden ocean pearl i actually loved this as a perfumey scent it was beautiful it was very unique in the way it smelled it was like a sweet perfumey scent but not like gourmand it just had this nice sweet floral touch it was really pretty uh the notes are bergamot breeze vanilla orchid and golden amber i'm guessing that note i'm smelling was the vanilla orchid but yeah it's just a beautiful scent and i actually would you purchase this i don't think i would or i didn't think i would say that but i actually would have purchased this because it was really really nice and i was planning on using that completely as well and i did I also plan to use this completely and I finished it. This is Fresh Coconut and Cotton. I have a, I think I have two back. Do I have two? No, I just have one back of this um, from the newer, like it was last year's collection. Um, Cause this is from 2022, I believe. Can't see. Oh no, this is from 2021, Never mind. Anyways, uh, the notes are Coconut Coastal Breeze and Beach Cotton. It's a really nice, strong, beachy, coconutty laundry scent. I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to using it again next year or the year after or something like that. Okay, uh, one more fragrance mist to go. So this is Pearberry. I also planned on using this all the way up and I did. The notes are Anjou Pear, Wild Berries, Apple Blossom, Golden Freesia, and Blonde Woods. So yeah, it smells really good. It's just that classic pears and a hint of that sweet berry scent, but like a fresh pear. It's just really nice. You have to smell it to know exactly what it smells like because it's a very unique like mixing of fragrance notes but I really enjoyed it um and I completed it so yes and the last product I had in my July product used up that I finished um was my aromatherapy simply and wine sandalwood and vanilla salt scrub the salt scrub formula is my favorite formula of scrubs from Bath and Body Works I just really like it they're very scrubby but also like a soft texture um anyways this is a nice type of unisex like vanilla sandalwood woody scent so i liked it wouldn't necessarily purchase the scent but i love that formula so that was everything from my projects that for july i only ended up not using up two products and together it combines to make like a half of a fragrance mist i'd say a little over half and yeah i feel like i did really well um like i said i used up six fragrance mists which is a i think a bit more than I've been using up recently so I'm very proud of myself and happy I could do that so I can get some mist out of my collection and start using things up so yeah let's move on to August products used up I'll start with the first body care product because there is only one so the only body care product I'm going to be using up for Beth Marks this month is the Moxie Invigorating Body Scrub with, wall with Bamboo Extract and Walnut Shell this is what it looks like I got this at, at semi annual sale uh i think it was during or at the outlet like this was like an outlet um find because these were online exclusives i think anyways here's what it looks like so there's that it looks like a nice creamy texture and this actually is a refillable jar i believe because yeah as you can see there's these little things and you can put this back in there it's a refillable jar but i never actually saw the refills for this um, but if I enjoy it, enjoy it, and I found a refill per, by chance, I don't think I ever would uh, be able to find one. But if I liked it, I would buy a refill for it if I found it at the, at the outlet. But that is very not likely. So anyways, if I can gain my talking composure, but I'm going to use that up. Excited. Um, it kind of just smells like spa fresh for the scent. Okay, I do have eight fine fragrance mists to go over. I'll start with the two that are not Beth Mutter, so I have two Victoria's Secret ones this month that I'm going to be trying to use. The first one, and I'm going to try to use this one up completely, this is Victoria's Secret's Blackberry Bite Fine Fragrance Mist. This is from spring of, not this year, but last year. The notes are Wet Blackberry, Chilled Amber, and Water Lotus Soak. I haven't sold this in a while, so there's no scent in the cap. Okay. This is a nice, fruity, sweet, perfumey blackberry. It has like that perfumey, fruity floral type of vibe. The blackberry smells really good. I think it'll be nice. And like a nice perfumey, fruity scent that's also airy enough for the really hot days of August. So I'm excited to use this up. 
The next one, I'm only planning on using up halfway. This is Victoria's Secret's Coconut Passion. This is a classic from them. The notes are Island Coconut Warm Sands and it says Beach Days Forever. So I'm going to spray this one out. So this is like a coconut. Definitely an ambery note. Um, is like the Warm Sands. It's like an ambery, like ambery, soft, kind of cashmere note with a hint of that very creamy light pineapple like it's not pineapple oh my gosh I'm looking at my other wrist coconut it's not very coconut forward it's definitely more like a creamy amber cashmere scent with a hint of coconut or at least that's what it smells like right now like the coconut top note kind of goes away right away but I'm fine with that because it's a nice warm creamy scent so there's that I'm only gonna use halfway because I don't want to have to repurchase it again and there's so much product in those with how it sprays like it doesn't mist finely so it mists like a jet stream um those ones aren't a bad aren't as bad as the pink ones but they're still not great so yeah using it halfway is totally fine for me okay I think all the rest of these I'm using completely up so yeah the goal for this month is to completely use up seven fragrance mists seven and a half including half coconut passion so let's get started so the one I was looking at when I said pineapple <laughs> was coconut pineapple from Bath and Butters I have used coconut pineapple up years in a row I just love this scent this is from 2022 I think I've used up a coconut pineapple mist two times before I used one up in this packaging uh last year and then one in the original like white um coconut pineapple packaging the year before that or the two years before that so I've been using these up consistently um I love coconut pineapple the notes on this are shaved coconut fresh pineapple sugarcane this is like your sweet very sweet tropical pineapple coconut scent it's just beautiful it's like it's like a gourmand tropical it's not actually gourmand but if if tropical could be gourmand it's like the sweetest tropical you can basically get is what I'm trying to say so I really like it really good for August um and yeah excited to use that one as well okay next here's another orangey fragrance this is Fiji Sunshine this is previously was called Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. It was also called that this year, but this is from 2023, so last year. Last year's summer, or no, this last year's spring collection, um, part of it. So the notes are Sunkiss Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. I have used a Fiji Sunshine Guavatini up before. It just smells really orangey, bright, citrusy, hint of tropical, really nice for August where it's really hot and you just want something uplifting and not gonna be like heavy and stuff so I picked this one out excited to use it and the packaging is really pretty okay now on to two green fragrances uh the first one I have I'm not sure if, I, if I'm going to be able to finish this because I don't love this scent this is cucumber melon which is a super classic uh notes of crisp cu oh my crisp cucumber watery honeydew summer cantaloupe sparkling grapefruit grapefruit and sure woods I think the 25th anniversary of cucumber melon was either this summer or the summer before I really can't remember like I think I think it was this semi-annual sale in the summer that was the 25th any an anniversary of cucumber melon so yeah they bring this out almost every single semi-annual sale like including winter sometimes I feel like they have brought it out at win winter time sometimes but Anyways, uh, yeah, I already read the notes, I think. I hope so. Um, I'm gonna smell it. See, it's just in my fairy. It's like, it's very, I don't know. That honeydew note almost gives like plasticky in a weird way. So we'll see if I can use it up. I mean, I can always use it as a room mist if I really can't handle wearing it on myself. It's just a very odd fragrance. And so maybe I'll spray my skin so I can actually get what it smells like. But like I just don't love it. Oh, that was a little alcohol -y. Okay. So on my skin I'm getting more of the grapefruit, which I like, but it's just not like a standout scent. So not in love. Don't know how I'm gonna use it up, but I will definitely try. So yes, and the other green fragrance mist is Poolside Cabana. The notes on this one are crisp pear, warm breeze, and solar sandalwood. This is like the toned down version of iced pear margarita. 
which is one of my favorite scents as you guys probably know because when I was talking about this I was just like raving about how it was um quite close to that really nice just like a nice limey uplifting type of scent so there's that okay last two fragrances I'm going to be using up another classic this is sweet pea notes of sweet pea watery pear sheer freesia luscious raspberry and soft musk so lots of classics today it's really pretty it's very girly very like pink shampoo fresh yeah it's like a girly pink shampoo you know the perfumey girly shampoo so this is kind of what it smells like not like over the moon excited about this but it does smell nice and you know just very feminine and, and like breezy so okay last fragrance was probably i'm probably the most excited about this one so this is fresh jungle rain from bath and water because this is from last year's summer collection of 2023 notes of rankus palms amazon dragon fruit and misty breeze this is a really nice scent so it's just like here just like cool inhaling that alcohol anyways kind of let dry down a little bit but but it's a watery fruity tropical scent it's like tropical but wearable because it's breezy and watery and just all around really good so i'm very very excited to wear this so there's that okay that was everything kind of a long video but i hope you guys enjoyed this again i apologize for the quality of the video but it's nighttime and I have to film this and get this up for you guys. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I hope we'll see you in my next one. Bye!